Hey guys, it's Joe. I'm here to walk you through some of the top recommendations I recommend for fine tuning Defender for Office 365. I always recommend creating a custom quarantine policy that allows the user to request a release from quarantine. This allows if the user sees something in the quarantine and you want a admin to review it before it gets released, this is really helpful. And we also need to enable the quarantine notification so the user does get the email. Now when we configure our anti-spam policy, we can actually configure a custom quarantine policy. So for example, on phishing, I might want to notify the user and allow the user to request that release from the admin. For high confidence phishing, maybe I only want an admin to release that and not allow the user to request a release. So that allows you to customize that user behavior for quarantines. A couple other important settings while we're in here in the spam policies, make sure in your connection filter that you have no IPs that you're allowing and also make sure that the safe list policy is turned off as well. For the outbound spam policy, make sure that you have it set to automatic system controlled. We don't want to allow users to forward. Um, if you do have some cases where users do need to forward uh, messages externally, then make sure you create a custom policy uh, only for those users that are permitted to forward and make sure that you order that is a higher priority so it runs before that block policy runs. If you are using a third-party security mail gateway in front of Microsoft 365, make sure you go into the enhanced filtering and enable the enhanced filter for connectors on the connector where the mail is routing from your third-party mail filter. It's very important. Otherwise, when Microsoft receives the email, they won't know that there's a intermediary in between. So this is super important. Uh, to enable if you are uh, filtering mail by a third party prior to it reaching Microsoft. Back in the threat policies under safe attachments, make sure you do enable the global settings. In the global settings, there's two settings that we want to make sure are enabled, uh, turning on Defender for SharePoint OneDrive Teams and safe documents for Office. Another important setting is your safe links policies. Make sure that you are enabling safe links for Teams, Office 365, you're tracking user clicks, and you're not allowing users to click through. And ideally, we'd like to see branding enabled uh, as well. Another setting that's important is in your anti-malware. Make sure that you have the common attachment filter enabled. And we'd like to see as many uh, custom file types turned on as possible. Specifically, you'll notice here, uh, we've got over 110 policies listed out of the box. Uh, I believe there's 53 uh, that are enabled. So you'll wanna go through and enable additional uh, custom file types to block. So that's it. Hopefully that helps. Those are some of the most recommended settings we have for fine-tuning Defender for Office.